we're now going to do part two of the cow catcher. Um, so really all we have left are these pegs on the back. If you look. <clears throat> so we'll put a sketch on the back. All right. And put some dots. And this is a really good strategy that we use all the time. When you start having to do things on your own, you should be thinking about, you know, how do I put a point, right? And what am I going to dimension? So, <clears throat> this distance from the corner to the center there is 0.275, 0.275. And from here to there this way is 0.125. And that'll be the exact same thing on this side. And then we'll go like that because this tells you that distance is 0.625. That's also 0.625. Looks like I messed up. Oh, that's from the bottom. And that's okay. <clears throat> You'll do that too. So press escape. That'll happen, you know, all the time. All you gotta do is press escape. So that kind of clears everything. Delete it. And you can correct it. Uh, and then we're gonna put the circles in there. And the circles, if you look, are 0 0.6 diameter. Nope. 0.125, sorry. So we'll dimension them all. And now we can just extrude them. And that distance is 1.25. And again, the TYP means typical. So that means every time. Okay. <clears throat> and the last thing we gotta do Put these little chamfers on here. We need to tell it, because it told us an angle. Uh, 0.1 and 45 degrees. Didn't look right, and that's okay. Doesn't like what I'm doing, which is fine. Uh, it's 0 0.01, the number I made was too big. And that's how you're gonna problem solve too, right? You just kind of go through everything. So I'm trying to show you 
you know, what, how to problem solve things. So that was 0 0.01. You can hit tab to make it look like that. And the last one. Let's see. <clears throat> That's what it's supposed to look like. The next thing we're going to do is assemble everything that we've just created. So we just finished the cow catcher.